We're now actually leveraging biology itself to attack biology. What we do is we, we take um, some bacteria and we try to get that bacteria to attack cancer. The advantage is um, there are certain types of bacteria like salmonella that like anoxic environments. So environments that don't have a lot of oxygen. Tumors tend to have not a lot of oxygen, especially at their core, because the blood vessels are on the periphery and at the core, the oxygen isn't getting to it. So the bacteria naturally are like, ooh, I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they get to the core and then they start sort of, you know. Yeah. The problem with that is they get to the core, but they're not really attacking the periphery and they're not attacking like maybe a metastasis that happened somewhere else. And the other problem obviously is like, okay, back to like, you're literally giving me salmonella, right? Yeah, 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 you yeah. can like, you can, you can genetically engineer and everything, but like, it's still bacteria. It's it, you're giving me a pathogenic bacteria, right? And there, there's a risk of um, systemic infection and dose related toxicity. The other way to approach this problem is with viruses. Okay. You have something called oncolytic virotherapy, where you take viruses that attack cancer cells and you inject that mm -hmm. into the patient, right? There's two problems. One is the delivery challenge. Okay. You got to really get into the tumor mm. and like, and like put that in there. Inject direct. Okay. Inject direct. So if there's a tumor that's very, very deep, yeah, yeah, yeah. out of luck. And the other thing is the immune system of the body has already been primed with a bunch of viruses that you've seen over the years. Right? So the immune system itself is going to be like, <laughs> you're not yeah, getting yeah, in. Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, and then, yeah. and then the, the immune system is going to attack that virus. Right? It makes sense. So this particular therapy called the capsid. Yes. This particular therapy is getting the best of both worlds. Okay. Yes. It's combining the virus, which is really good at killing the cancer cells. Yes. But, it's got a tough time getting in. It can't get past the, the, the security at the door. It's yeah. So a virus is becoming like the Greek soldiers inside the Trojan yeah, horse yeah, yeah, yeah. and the bacteria becomes a Trojan, Trojan horse. horse. Okay. Because the bacteria has an easy time getting mm. into the center of the tumor. Right. And it knows where to go because of the anoxic environment. It's seeking this place without any oxygen. So what, what this team at Columbia engineering is doing is combining both of those therapies yes. to give this like two pronged approach, target the tumor yes, and then infect the tumor with the viruses. Yes. And then also, have that viral infection spread to other tumors in the body. Mm. Dude, it's it's like, it's almost out of science fiction. They got these mice models. Yes. Again, uh, transgenic mice models that sort of mimic the small cell lung cancer, mm -hmm. okay? 100% survival rate. Jesus. Okay. okay.